my friends how are you today <laughs> i just finished filming a pick a card reading which will be up later tonight after it uploads it takes forever to upload um you could have something surprising coming your way i just heard so i just got um a, it's, it's called the situation <laughs> the situation love oracle deck so I thought I would try it out with you guys. Um, to me, those look like swans. Don't those look like swans? I know it's pages in a book, but they kind of resemble swans to me. Anyway, I wanted to come on and do a reading with you guys and see what's coming through. Love. Unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selflessness. You have love coming. Passion, insane, 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 insane chemistry. No, stay together. <laughs> Soulmates, what is happening? Soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. I know these cards are not all rainbows and butterflies. What's happening? The first card that I saw when I picked up the deck was separation, so. Oh my gosh, we have coffin new beginnings. Reborn and transition. Okay. okay. Let's see current energy in this connection. Current energy. Current energy. Six of cups energy. My friends. Reminiscing, learning from past, perception, hanged man energy, changing your perspective perhaps. Um, current energy, it feels like you and this person are reminiscing about the past. I don't know though if you're reminiscing together or if you're reminiscing separately. We have awaiting messages, so it feels to me like you're about to communicate or you already are um, or you could be waiting for this person to communicate with you um, let's look at your person's energy what's going to come out for your person camera soulmates stop it <laughs> your person feels feels like they might want to take a leap of faith towards you did you see how that jumped out of my hand Soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. That's how they're feeling about you. Oh my gosh, we have healing heart on the bottom. So they could be realizing you are their soulmate. This person's thinking about you. Current energy, you're both thinking about each other or you're talking. This person definitely sees you as their person, their soul connection. I want to get one more for your person. Well, did you see how that jumped off my finger? <laughs> they want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're reaching out. Love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you that they're thinking of you. And you know, that's why you're awaited, awaiting messages. You're waiting for it. It's coming. You guys, this deck is not full of, like, happy cards like that. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Let's see your energy. We'll get tarot as well for these. Your energy. We have, oh my goodness. So this person, hang on. So we have the snake on your side. So this person could have deceived you. We do have competition. The other woman look over your shoulder. There is this energy of you feeling suspicious of this person because of what they did in the past. Um, like I said, we're going to get tarot for that. The snake also gets a very bad reputation because snakes are about you know snakes shed skin and it can be about cycles so you know it could be looking at the deeper meaning of this card um or looking at the symbol the symbolism of the snake 
you could feel like this person would need to change if they were to come back towards you. I'm telling you, though, your person is thinking, that's my soulmate. I need to let them know that. Like, I need to reach out to them. And current energy, you're both kind of reminiscing about this, thinking about it. Let's see your energy. Yeah. That's interesting because I saw that on the bottom and I almost said something. You could be spending a lot of time focused on yourself. You could be spending a lot of time, you know, hanging out with your friends. This says partying, uh, time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. Um, so perhaps you're really focused on, you know, getting out there and hanging out with your friends and keeping your vibration up. It's beautiful. We do have poker face, not showing hand. So you could be, you know, holding your cards close to your chest about how you feel about this person. You could just be trying to get on with life. Um... Do I want to get another one? Let's see near future energy. Engagement. <laughs> Higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union, completion. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. <laughs> Healing heart. Oh my gosh. Oh. What is happening? Near future energy, coffin, new beginnings, liberation, reborn, transition, talking, awaited text messaging coming in, text, calls, email, talking more, eight of wands, back and forth talking, healing heart, healing the past, forgiveness. Oh my gosh. Let's get tarot to um, confirm all this. Well then. I have, okay then. <laughs> we'll just see what comes out because that is interesting. We have the four of cups. Somebody's coming in. Could be worried that you'll reject them. You might not even want what they have to offer, four of cups. You might be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm having fun. We do see you living in the moment, so you're having a good time. Wally's got the zoomies, so Wally's with you. Um, I want to shuffle these one more time. Six of Pentacles, exchanging of energy, conversing, text, calls, emails, talking more. Reciprocating energy. I've got the Six of Swords staring up at me here, you guys. I think. Yep, Six of Swords. Somebody coming towards you, wanting to reconnect. Right under the Six of Pentacles, we've got the Chariot. So this is coming in. Fast communication once it comes in. It's like you guys are talking all the time once this comes in. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. We're going to look at current energy. Whoops, current energy between the two of you. We're looking at that camera. So the Six of Cups energy right now, current energy, camera, Six of Cups energy. Tell me about that Six of Cups energy. Mm, tell me about that energy. We have the Ten of Cups. Mm, you guys. So this is someone who's reminiscing about old times. This could be someone, you both could be listening to a lot of music that is symbolic to your time spent together. This is someone who's reminiscing about happy times together, um, looking in the past, you know, wanting to go back to those times, realizing that you are their fulfillment here. Um, this is someone who wants to learn from the past here so that they can have this Ten of Cups with you because this person has realized... I think that you're their Ten of Cups. Um, that can also be symbolic of, in reverse, of healing needing to happen. So perhaps there needed to be some healing on both sides before this could come back together. Interesting. Let's go to the next one. All right. We have Healing Heart and New Beginnings. So let's see it. Healing Heart and New Beginnings. 
healing heart, new beginnings. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, very nurturing, stable connection. Um, ooh, oh my gosh, I. That's a sign. I shuffled a few times. That's a sign. So we have the Five of Swords. Nope. Being calm is my priority now. That's your affirmation. Be calm when they come in. Don't let them take your power. Don't lose your head. Um, five of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Turning Point. This person wants resolution. This person has healed something or you've healed something and some kind of blockage has fallen away here. Healing Heart. And it's allowing this new beginning. Um, Queen of Pentacles, you know, this shows this person wants stability now. They want a new beginning. They want, they see, you know, long-term potential here. Um, Queen of Pentacles, I also feel like this person knows your worth now. I also feel it's because you're in this energy that this is coming in because you're looking so strong here. Very interesting. Um, so I have another deck, which I kind of want to get for you guys, which I'm going to do right now. And it is, it's a little, it's called Broken Mirror. And you know, it's specifically for soul connections. So let's have a look. Interesting. We have unemployed. Your person could have gone through karmic justice and ended up, you know, losing a job. Look, we have hiding their true feelings. Okay. We're going to go your person's energy first. Intimacy. They want to come into union with you. This is their energy. Coming into union, chemistry, missing you. Interesting. Interesting. Let's get one more for them. We have a unknown caller. Oh my gosh. If somebody's calling you and hanging up, this person could want to hear your voice. I haven't done that since I was a teenager. I know that people do that. I haven't done that since I was a teenager, and it wasn't for the reasons you think. I was afraid of the phone. I still am. So, and my friends would get mad at me for not calling them. So I would call them so that it would show up on the caller ID, and then I would hang up before they could answer. <laughs> and then when they called me back, I was just like, oh, I missed your call. Like, I didn't hear the phone ringing. <laughs> anyway, I think that's interesting. So your person could be calling you. They could be watching you online, keeping an eye on you. We did see that. I also think it's interesting. We have this reminiscing energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have pictures. Regrets, reminiscing, and missing you. So you've got two cards for them. Missing you. Two cards. They miss you. Reminiscing about the past. All right, I'm trying to keep all my cards in little neat piles. <laughs> um, let's see how you're feeling about this connection. How are you feeling? We have distractions. Isn't that interesting? Because your energy, I have your pile here. We have the snake. Remember, competition, the other woman, other person, look over your shoulder. And now for you, coming out is distractions, temptation, always busy, kept you waiting. So I feel like this person kept you waiting. They could have made up excuses why they could have been busy all the time. Maybe they didn't prioritize this connection. Maybe there was someone they were tempted by for some of you. Um... That's very confirming um, when that starts happening. Communication. You're awaiting communication. You're awaiting, like that card said, awaiting messages. You can feel it. Um, interesting. Okay. I want to get one more for you, actually. 
for how you're feeling about this connection. You could feel like this person always played the victim I just heard. Oh my goodness. We have um, Inferno. Um, so you could feel, it says everything crumbling. So you could feel like everything came down in this connection tower moment. Um, interesting. You could have thought that this person was more focused on themselves, that they were self-absorbed. I'm seeing like King of Wands energy. Someone more focused on what they needed to get done, their own interests, that temptation. We also have reconciliation, so I believe you still want reconciliation with this person. Um, let's see what's coming next from this deck. Truth coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh. We have truth coming out. Ashamed, egg on their face, backfired. This could have been someone who chose someone else over you and then they ended up with egg all over their face. They learned their karmic lesson. Um, we have Netflix and chill, planning, texting, calling, meeting up, and conflict resolution. <laughs> the looks I'm giving you. What, what myths do you think of me? Um, Netflix and chill, interesting. Planning, text, phone call, meeting up. And conflict resolution, compromising, making amends, positive outcome. Interesting. Anything else, Spirit, that we need to know about this? Anything else that wants to come out? Thinking of you. Crying, nostalgia, missing you. It keeps coming out. This person can't stop thinking about you. Oh my freaking gosh. Soul contract. Soulmates, partnership, spiritual union. I need tarot about these now. What is this? Thinking of you, soul contract. Let's just look. Thinking of you, soul contract. Thinking. Ooh. We have a runner. So, look who I found on the floor. Look who came crawling back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was on the floor. Um, King of Swords. So right now, thinking of you, this person's thinking about this logically. They're thinking about coming in. This is someone who wants to have a rebirth here with the bat. I'm seeing someone who's letting go. Um, someone wanting to communicate the truth with you, like that card said, the truth coming out. Um, interesting. Trying to figure out what to do. Seven of Cups. Let's get another one for this union card. Okay. Oh my gosh, this person wants... This person doesn't want to be in separation with you anymore. This person needs forgiveness for something. Um, this is someone who wants to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like this is going to come out of nowhere, if I'm being honest. Um, let's see. I just want to see what action this person's going to take, because I'm nosy. Knight of Cups. Definitely. Oh my gosh, look at that. The Empress. So, so we have a Knight of Cups approaching the Empress. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> she knows her worth. Doesn't matter what gender you are. This Empress knows their worth. This is someone... Communication. They're going to communicate with you. This is someone who wants to rekindle things with you. Not only that, we have justice. So someone wanting to make things right and take accountability. Someone who could have, you know, served some uh, karmic justice there. Get another one. What does this Knight of Cups want? They want to bring you clarity. They want to communicate with you. So they want to bring you clarity here. They want to take control of the situation. All right. I want to get one more for current energy for that camera. One more. Interesting. 
We have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands for current energy is the energy of you both still having hope for this connection, whether you admit it or not. Um, this, you know, this is an energy of still having hope for this. This is shared energy. Um, that's what almost came out, Six of Wands. Um, so maybe this person is, you know, watching you online or seeing you online, especially if you're living in the moment. This person could be watching you. Um, maybe you're posting pictures of, you know, you out with your friends and it's causing this person to think about the good times you had together. Um, definitely we see two people who want to fight for this connection with the Nine of Wands, even though it's not easy, you know? Let's look at your person's energy here. So we have Love Call and Soulmates. So what is this soulmate energy about spirit? What is this soulmate energy about? This is, you know, their current energy. Ooh. This person, this person I feel ran from this connection. Um, this person felt this connection, but I feel like they denied it. For some of you, they could have deceived you or manipulated you in some way. We do have the Seven of Swords. So this soulmate energy, what I'm seeing is when you deceive or run from a soul connection, you receive karma, you receive lessons. Um, and I feel like this person has learned some type of lesson and had this realization about you. We've got the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups here showing that this person, you know, wants to communicate with you about how they truly feel about you and the relationship you share, Two of Cups energy. This is someone who could have been, you know, reflecting on, and maybe they've learned their lesson in some sense when it comes to this Seven of Swords. I do feel like your person maybe ran or denied this connection, but they want to come in and communicate here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's the Empress and strength, an unbreakable connection. So this person has realized nobody compares to your energy. Um, you know, this person I don't think has been able to stop thinking about you. Let's look at that love call. Thinking of you. Expressing love, messages of love, informing you. Oh, yeah. So we do have the Knight of Swords here. So this is someone who wants to rush in and talk to you. Um, they are coming because near future energy, we've got new beginnings, we've got talking, we've got healing heart, and we've got commitment. So right now this person is like, I'm seeing someone sitting on the edge of their seat ready to contact you. Tower at the beginning, I think this is going to come in unexpectedly. Like it'll come in when you're least expecting it. it maybe it's the first day you go without thinking about them. <laughs> Somebody's coming out of hermit energy, my friend, to tell you what they've learned. This is someone who wants to make some type of adjustment in this connection. They want to make adjustments, give more of their energy. Um, there's a turning point here with this energy. I want to get one more for love call messages. We have nine of cups <clears throat> Ooh, and the four of pentacles. So this is someone who hasn't been able to their heart hasn't given up on you. Their intuition still says, that's my person. Um, and even though they've, you know, tried to let go, they haven't been able to let go of you. Um, I am I am getting this person may not be quite sure how you feel about them anymore with this energy. I just feel that you're holding your cards close to your chest. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's completely normal. Let's go snake and partying. This is your, oh yeah, mm -hmm. the eight of wands wanted to come out with that. Yeah, okay. Let's look at your energy, that competition, not trusting this person. We have the seven of pentacles. So the seven of pentacles um, 
Seven of Pentacles shows, you know, maybe your person was investing in another connection with that competition, the other woman. That's just for some of you. Seven of Pentacles, you know, shows me that you felt like there was something here and whatever happened, you realized you weren't getting what you wanted out of this connection. Perhaps this person failed to... Not this person, but I feel like you put time and energy into this and didn't see what you wanted out of it, um, especially since there appears to be separation between you right now. Um, I do feel like you feel like this person wasn't putting in very much effort um, with you, so perhaps there was other people. We do have the Six of Cups, so perhaps you know this person had an ex that they were attached to or... You don't trust them because of something they did to you in the past, maybe. Let's look at your Three of Cups energy here. Living in the moment, time with friends. We have Five of Pentacles, and I love this for you. So instead of sitting around and feeling rejected and feeling sad, your higher self guided you to get up off your caboose <laughs> and enjoy life. Um, when we sit in these energies, we become stagnant and that's exactly what you're not doing. I see a lot of change here with you. To me, it looks like you're feeling pretty good. Um, although I think you don't trust this person. I'm seeing, you know, you picking yourself up. I don't know why I'm hearing a song from Trolls. Get Back Up Again by Anna Kendrick. Pick yourself up and get back up again. I know I'm going to be okay. There's nothing standing in my way. You can knock, knock me over. I will get back up again. That's what I'm hearing. So you've gotten, you've gotten back up and you're getting out there. Perhaps you spent some time in this energy, but you knew you couldn't live in that energy. Thank you, puppies. My puppies say, good job. We do have the Ace of Cups, which to me shows that you started filling up your own cup. So that's beautiful. Now, engagement ring. Let's look at it. What is this about? We have tower moment. I told you, unexpected. I told you. Sun, unexpected. Unexpected. For some of you, this person could have been afraid of commitment. Maybe that was part of the tower moment in the past, but this is future energy. We have engagement ring. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing this person coming in and bringing you clarity and saying, I miss you. I miss your energy. Will you marry me? <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> I just see whatever this is coming as a shock to you. So perhaps, you know, this is someone who is like, you're not my soulmate, you know, you're bad for me, blah, 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 whatever they said. <laughs> Their words are important. I'm not saying blah, blah, blah to be disrespectful. I'm saying it so just because. <laughs> but this could be shocking to you that they come in. Maybe you run into them unexpectedly and they like pop it on you. Anyway, um, this person could have also... Um, had a shift in how they view commitment. So if this is someone who is running from commitment, they could have had a foundational shift in how they view commitment and relationships and are coming in with clarity here. Talking? Let's see. Talking. Awaited messages. We have three of pentacles. So you're going to run into this person or you're going to hear from this person. Look, Knight of Cups, this person's coming in, wanting to rekindle things, afraid of the queen. Woo! She's so scary. <laughs> anyway, we've got the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So somebody's approaching you and I feel like you are keeping your cup safe. Cards close to chest, like I said. But this is someone who wants to talk to you. Threes are about collaboration, working together, communication, working as a team. That's what this person wants. Perhaps this person comes into your place of work. Um, for some of them, you may run into them. Anyway, we have the two of you chatting here. 
They want to take control of the situation and come towards you and have clarity in this. There is this energy of them wanting to exchange energy with you, perhaps socially. So perhaps, you know, if you're going to, if you are going somewhere where this person's going to be, I feel like they're making a plan about that. Like they're thinking, oh, I'm going to see that person at this event. Uh, maybe I'll go tell them something. Anyway, let's get Four of Swords, somebody coming out of Four of Swords energy, someone coming out of isolation, temperance, death and rebirth. That's union energy, you guys. So you have a few cards about death and rebirth, new beginnings, and we have this coming into balance. Um, let's look at timing for you guys. Timing of this, of you guys talking. We have the Empress. That is so interesting. So the Empress um, could be Taurus season, which is coming up April 20th to May 20th, or Libra season. Um, Empress energy also shows when you are in your divine feminine energy. That's when this person comes in, of course. Um, we do have like double divine feminine energy here with the moon. This shows me there's other forces at work here other than just you being an empress energy. There's other things that need to happen here. Um, Pisces uh, season could be symbolic. Interesting. I want to get these ones. We'll see what comes out. Let me just clean up my mess here. There we go. I have so many decks. I don't want to get them mixed up. <laughs> have you guys ever... Um, you remember DVDs? <laughs> I don't know who's with me, but I was the type of person who would take out a DVD and put it in the case of the movie I was about to watch. And then when I wanted to watch another movie, I'd take that movie, take the thing out, put the one in the DVD player in that case, and then eventually all of my movies were messed up. If I do that with my tarot cards, there's no hope for me. So that's why I got to keep it organized. <laughs> because if that happens to my tarot cards, you may never see me again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We have no back of the deck energy. So mountain, challenges, and achievements. And the lion, strength and success. So let's see what's coming in towards you in this connection. We have house, relocation, home, four of wands energy, perhaps living together. Perhaps one of you is moving. Perhaps you're at a distance and somebody says they want to look stability and security, the anchor. Somebody's throwing down their anchor with you. Um, Anchors could be symbolic, or you could live near the sea, or you could like ships, I'm hearing. We do have change coming in. <gasps> what did I say? What did I say? Messages. Awaited text message. Awaited communication. Maybe it comes as mail. <laughs> you remember mail, right? We have stability. So you have two cards. You have stability and security. Stabil st blah, blah, blah. Stability and security. Stability and growth. And we have cycles and change. Divine feminine energy. Oh my gosh, we have engagement. What did I say? If you like it, you better put a ring on it. Didn't I say that? Well, I'm just... Anyway, ooh, interesting. We have um, peacock energy, pregnancy, challenges, achievements, pregnancy. So for some of you, you could, you know, have a baby with this person someday. It doesn't have to be today. And if you don't want babies, that's okay. You don't have to have, you don't, if you're, you know, past the age, some of you say like, I'm too old to have babies. That's okay. You don't have to do anything. <gasps> I just cut open. I was just like, I'm just going to cut open the deck to see love, love heart. Let's see. Anything else for you today? Let's get one out of this deck. 
Ah, that one jumped off the top of me. What is it? Persist. <laughs> Don't give up. May your ripples build the swell. Persistence. Okay. We have faith. Have faith, you guys. Look at the boat. That reminds me, I have a card with that boat on it that says, awaiting messages, awaiting news. It's like you feel it coming. Three of wands on the horizon. Have faith. This is coming. Heard. May your brave call be carried into the, on the wind. So you could have been someone who said like, please send me a sign or please reach out to be my person. And they've heard you. Beautiful. Heard. I also feel with that herd call, brave call, I feel like this is someone 555 five, five on the timer, someone who is getting over their fear, stepping into their power and calling you. Interesting. Ooh. Joy. We have receive. See? You're about to receive. Look at this. You guys are about to canoodle and frolic. Dolphins, happiness, soul spark. May you seek out fun and connection and receive. May you know you are worthy of the gift. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I told you. If they like it, they better put a ring on it. <laughs> mm, balance. Temperance energy. Beautiful. Do we want to get something else? Hang on. There's a few more minutes left on that timer. Why not? <laughs> I'll just... I didn't even see the person. Balance. I'm just going to get a few cards just to end up these few minutes with you. Oh, we have Apparition. Is that a song? Matthew Goodband? Am I imagining that? We have mic time 17. Wish fulfillment. You're about to be heard. You're about to be heard. And we have offerings. Oh my gosh. Offerings. Someone's about to offer you something. <clears throat> Ring. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's get a couple more. I just put those all back in the deck. So if they come out again, that'll be funny. Stability! <laughs> you guys got so many stability cards. That's amazing. And we have shadow magic. Interesting. So perhaps you've been working on your shadows or perhaps this person um, did some work on their shadows. It's funny. I keep putting the cards back in the deck and shuffling. We have synchronicity. Three, three, three. Okay, let's get you some, a couple of these just to see what comes out. We have longevity, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. That's so weird. Earlier I was thinking of Anne of Green Gables and I know that she sells, sells, spells chrysanthemum in the spelling bee. That is weird. That could be a really weird synchronicity for someone, Anne of Green Gables, um, Anyway, longevity. So whatever's happening now is happening for the long term. Wally! <laughs> Regeneration! Star energy. Wish fulfillment. Success. Judgment. Hierophant energy with the key. Anyway, can't make that up. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for spending time with me with my new cards. <laughs> I just love you guys so much. I'm so happy when I'm here with you. So I'm going to go upload that pick a card and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I will catch you on the DL or whatever. <laughs> I am so freaking awkward. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and I love you and have a good night. Bye.